Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sam from the Magical Killer Cow YouTube channel, and today I'm back with another Team Fortress 2 related video for you guys. This one is the Triad Pack Items Update, kindly given to me temporarily by Tomas Assassin. Speaking extremely fast in this video, I'm going to be going over the four weapons from the Sleeping Dog pre order promotional pack. Here they are in my backpack, and let's kick it off with the Flying Guillotine. Throw at your enemies to make them bleed. Long distance hits causes mini crits, 100% critical hits for stun players, and no random critical hits. What this means, if I run out here, Sandman, this guy, he's bonked, and then I throw my Flying Guillotine, his ragdoll goes flying, and he is now dead. Now I'm going to try it just with the Flying Guillotine. It's going to do a decent amount of base damage and then it's going to cause the enemy to bleed which can significantly reduce their health so I can go and scattergun them to death. Now I'm going to try stunning the heavy and then flying guillotine guillotining, is that a word, <laughs> him to death. It doesn't work because he's a fat scout with too much health and he manages to survive. Now I'm just going to throw my flying guillotine and find a spy. He's bleeding, I can detect him and he manages to die. Now the red tape recorder reverses enemy building construction, minus 100% cyber damage penalty. What this means is if I run out here with my red tape recorder, put it on this sentry gun, it will start spinning. I can put it on and it'll slowly downgrade from level 3 to level 2 to level 1 and then it's going to go back into its toolbox as you can see in a second. The sapper is going to get removed but I can quickly put it back on. No delays there. However, the main delay is when it takes two times the amount of time just to completely destroy the sentry gun, which gives the engineer enough time to repair it or just kill you, as you can see in a second. There we go, I'm dead. Now the Hua Long heat maker, heat maker sustains the ring of flames while deployed, six ammo consumed per second while deployed. As you can see, a spy tries backstabbing me, it doesn't work. He's a dead ringer though, he's now on fire from my flames, and then I managed to gun him down with the actual weapon itself, which is always nice to kill them spies. Now we're going to move on to the Neon Annihilator, 100% critical hit versus wet players, minus 20% damage penalty, and no random critical hits. Gonna play the guitar like a badass first here, and now we're just gonna run out here on 2-4, totally not set up or anything, soldier just happens to be rocket jumping across the map, uh, falls into the water, and I get a chance to whack him with my Neon Annihilator, 195 crit damage, and he is now dead. Now I'm just gonna show you me killing him when he's not dead. My name's been Hayden from the Magical Kill Kai YouTube channel. Hope you guys liked it, if you want to see more of them, be sure to click the subscribe button above to be notified when I post them, and I will see you all in the next one.